Hello everyone, and welcome to Babdi, or B-A-B-B-D-I? I don't know. Actually, I'm not sure if that last I is even really supposed to be here. Uh, considering what they place between the letters and option, actually, oh, a lot of uh, a lot of weird quirks in the text on this menu. This is apparently a surreal exploration experience. And already, interestingly, is the fact that uh, after that immensely weighty music so full of gravitas has left us, and now all we have is the occasional sound of wind breaking the silence. Well, let's give it a try. That's the kind of wind gust that almost sounds more like a pained howl than, than well, wind. Ooh. Press tab in game to enter the library. Hmm. Looks like, ooh, like harsh concrete bunkers in a gray world. The sound of a bell chiming from somewhere within this city. A city that looks a whole lot like a parking garage. If it weren't for these lights, we'd have no way of knowing we weren't seeing in black and white. Uh, but it seems we're not alone here. Hey buddy, you willing to defend yourself? Oh my god, why do you- why do you snap your view towards us like that? Oh, your eyes. Ivano. Maybe we see each other again. Bye. Mm. Uh, what does that mean? Take my club. Just grab it and hit surfaces with it. Okay, well, the store page assures that there is no combat. So I'll take the game's word for it and not use it on you. Oh, there's like a loud, like, groaning or droning coming from you. Almost as if the act of getting your attention was a bad thing. Uh, we can throw it by pressing F. Uh, and interestingly enough, using using the club on a wall actually has the effect of launching us backward. That's that's quite satisfying, really. Can we use that to jump? Ooh, we can. And we actually stick to the ceiling a bit. Oh, it's a metal grate. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, there's all kinds of residents throughout this place. And you're all equally weird, though your eyes don't appear to be glowing quite as much. Ask her. We will get out of Babdi. I have train tickets. So everyone wants to leave this place. Hi. That's a weird thing you're doing with your neck right there. Griselda is sleeping. And I guess there's a way out of here? Well, if that's the case, then I would imagine that such tickets are quite coveted, right? Uh, RT, it looks like it says on that sign. I'm mean, gonna I have to squint, and there's something, maybe birds on that platform over there? Yeah, look. There's a whole flight of them. Uh, hello. Are you on loan from Fallout? Oh, I wonder if that droning isn't meant to be your voice. Drega Dregajevic? His wife is sick. He needs to reach the city. By train. He has tickets to leave, Babdi. Lucky him. Well, wishing the best for them. We can use the elevator, but let's have more of a look around. Oh, I see. This droning is coming from these lights. And we can get ourselves up there, so we'll check that out. Grab. The thing looks like a sculpture from Beetlejuice or something. You found a secret object. Press tab to open library. Oh, wow. <laughs> One of them is just a gun. And a whole lot of rectangles. 
uh, Babdi quest. Find a ticket in order to... Oh, we have a whole list of achievements. Find a ticket in order to leave the town of Babdi. That's our ultimate goal. Way of the Climber. Climb your way through Babdi and reach the highest peak. Get all secrets. Interact with everyone. Finish the game in under four minutes. Oh, it's speed runnable. Leave the town of Babdi. Do a 360 with a motorbike. Get hit by a train. And impress the girl next to the church with the bike. Wow, this is all very dreamlike. So much of it is meant to be seemingly intuitive rather than directly explained. Or rather, it explains enough, but it explains it as if you already know this world. A flashlight. Ah, uh, but we can only carry one thing at a time. I wonder if it's actually possible to complete all this on a single run. We can turn it off by clicking, look. So it's like a walled city. On the ground there, I can see green. But outside, it's all white and dead. It looks to be a couple of drainage pipes over there. All right, well, look, I'm going to leave you on the ground over here. Go back for the club and use that. Believe it or not, this is our jump button. Uh, we can actually jump ourselves, but this is how we really do it. Ooh, and there's something here as well. Oh, a leaf blower! Oh! Okay, this is really fun. <laughs> uh, but it only works for a little bit. Ooh. Oh, we can't quite make it out this way. Wow, this is actually, like, surprisingly mechanically well thought out. It's exploration, yes, but it's giving us tools to explore with. That is so neat. Oh, well, maybe we could use the elevator like some kind of elevator. Maybe we don't need to rely on leaf blower-based transportation. Maybe that could be a thing. I'm honestly shocked at how good this feels to play. Let's keep going. They say it's about an hour, but to get all that stuff, I have a feeling it's going to be quite a bit more, especially for me. Yep, catch a pigeon. Aw. Oh, they do actually have collision, though. They could have knocked me off. Yep, come on. The only downside is I have to look down, but I suppose the same is true for the club as well. Wow, look at this place. And is this one of the bridges that we saw from a distance? Ooh, definitely, definitely don't want to go down there. Alright, so let's check the lower level. Because, I don't know, I'm going to be going back and forth a lot. Just because I'll always feel like I'm missing something. Whole Sevenate Potel. Then again, we already know about this game's affinity for adding unnecessary characters just to confuse things. And I'm not even talking about the weirdo residents. At least we can sprint. Ah, uh, this sucks. Ah, uh, this architecture is so, like, nonsensical. Yep, platform. 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 Uh, there's another club. Okay, so they will be positioned about. Oh, hello. Seems like there's a party going on over here. Hey, pigeon. Uh-huh. Yep, there you go. You get on out of here. A light on in that one window. Actually, a few lights on. And so much green within. Like, it's weird what passes for colorful after our first view of the world outside. Actually, I'm now seeing we weren't seeing mountains outside. Those are actually just the faces of this, like, concrete enclosure we live in. Yep. Oof. That was scary. Oh, there's, like, bunkers and canals all throughout. Amasu. Jumping won't hurt you. That's good to know. Try jumping. 
Sounds good, but also sounds like bait. Oh, we can zoom with right click. Hmm. We can even play the ins Oh, whoa, wait, wait. Scroll to change scale. Oh. Uh, even the uh, even the instructions look like they're AI generated, but they nevertheless get enough information out. Well, that was fun. You can interact with... Uh, even the bottles are interactive. Oh, uh, this is so weird. This almost reminds me of, like, a more developed version of, like, Cement Mixer Simulator or Hendicad. Well, that was fun while it lasted, but we've got to get a move on. Uh, yep. Yeah. That will never not be funny. We've got... Oh, wow, there actually is water down in that canal. Uh, so we're going to want to check out that dockyard. And perhaps... Perhaps that's the train station? Maybe that's our goal? It's just there's so many different ways I want to go. So many different things that are catching my attention. And... I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to forget things. But it's so non-linear. Oh, we can even use this thing to break our fall. All right, pigeons, out of my way. There's a new king of the castle. Well, we made it. Uh, it. It's so weird how the leaf blower actually turns this into something that is, like, actually enjoyable to navigate. Speaking of making things enjoyable to navigate... Ooh. Oh, and we move forward by clicking... Oh, I wonder if this thing is invulnerable... Ooh. <laughs> oh wow, the uh, these things make an even weirder noise when you just blow past them. Oh, it's actually got like a Doppler effect going on. All right, well, we definitely want this thing. Uh, we're certainly not making that, though. All right, sucks to leave the leaf blower, but I imagine there will be more. In the meantime, might as well jump. Oh, this feels so wrong. Can't get through there. Yeah. There we go, ride like the wind, and now we've got open spaces to play with. I feel like that's something that is overlooked in a lot of exploration games, is whenever there's a huge amount of area to traverse, sure you could have fast travel, but it's so much better to actually make moving around itself fun. And you do that by having it just feel satisfying. Uh, we could go down there into the drain, uh, but I have a feeling that may be losing the bike. Just a hunch. Uh, and we cannot jump up over a lip. Alright, there's the rail line. Presumably our ticket out of here. Well, once we get a ticket out of here. Alright, let's leave you here for now. Yes, please don't roll down. Hmm, can we maybe control the gates or something? Look at this whole place. The highest peak is probably going to be that tower right there. Oh, and it does save our progress periodically. Question is, why? I mean, if we can't get hurt by falling and there's no enemies, why would that be the case? Maybe we can become lost forever, though. You know what? This is a dream. I'm down with stream of consciousness. Why not go for a dip? 
although I do wonder if we wouldn't be carried away by the current. All right, well, let's get ready to try it. Yeah. Well, that's not what I expected. Uh, it flows like a raging river, and yet it is only ankle deep, not even. Well, I suppose that's convenient for us. Well, since we're down here, I suppose we might as well have a look at this dockyard, right? Hmm, oddly enough, it's only here that I can... Yeah, here I can hear the flowing water. Right here is where I can hear it. Uh, this way? I do wonder if we can't open these gates and maybe, like, change the flow. We crouch, we can. But we do not need to. Uh, and I don't have the flashlight, but I can see that there's something over here. There's a secret! Oh, and a flashlight. Well, that would have been useful two seconds ago. I'll listen. The way that wind echoes through, as well as whatever sound we make. Oh, that is so satisfying, the way these sounds bounce around in this concrete interior. It certainly makes sense, though. What is that noise? You heard that, like, squeak on the left, right? This place is surprisingly sparse on characters, too. I mean, there's people here. It made it seem like a whole civilization at first, and I suppose it could, still could be. Especially since everyone is trying to get out. It's weird, it's both dystopian and whimsical simultaneously. Yep. Uh, now we are on the rail line, but it doesn't seem like a way out. It seems all rusted and decrepit, like nothing's been on here for years. And not to mention the fact that this whole thing is blocked. And maybe the line just doesn't go this way anymore. Okay, oof. Oof. Yeah, we're only just making it. Uh, I would really like a leaf blower right about now. Yeah, we're not doing it that way. All right, we made it that time. Yeah. Very thin rails. Go, 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 go. Yeah. And, yep. Yeah. And what's our reward? We get to do more platforming. Yep. Yeah. The wall. And, oh, you can't be serious. Oh, uh, we've, all that to get to where we've already been. neat -cellent. Oh, well, at least we can reunite with our precious motorcycle. There we are. Oh, wait, can we actually get in here? We can. Uh, without even realizing it, I did make it to that oh-so-distant... I'm assuming this is the train station. This is the highest capacity elevator we've yet seen. That is worthy of a thumbnail, I think. Uh, it seemed to make another sound when I did that. Railtail Trenil. Sure, why not? Howdy. Uh, fellow biker too, eh? Travel agent. <laughs> no more tickets. Just very simply, no more tickets. We don't even get the benefit of seeing your text anymore after that. Ah, uh, but there is someone down there who can perhaps help us. Uh, but of course not before we- hang on. Sir, I'm gonna need to borrow your bike. Don't worry, I'll bring it right back. Yeah! <laughs> That's what you get for not selling me a ticket! Whee! And I believe that bridge on the left is where we came from. There's still so much more to explore. 
Ooh, don't. Okay, so it's a dead end around the corners. Here you go. I told you I'd bring it back. It's important to be honest these days. Yep. Oh, that made my stomach drop so bad. Howdy. Oh, it's you again. They don't sell tickets anymore. Remember that sick woman? She died. Maybe you can have her ticket. Take this device and right-click to find her corpse. Okay, this got a lot darker really quickly. Search mode, decaying corpse. Points right back to where we left. All right, well, can we have this and the motorcycle simultaneously? Or are we hoofing it? Okay, we can. All right, let's go. Oh, we, hang on, we can jump in the motorcycle. That is so funny. Oh, we're doing all kinds of sick tricks. The girl at the church is gonna be so impressed. Or wait, is that what it said? Impress the girl next to the church with the bike. Yep, definitely. Uh, it's like, it's like I'm racing back out of concern after I heard, but, uh, well, really, it's actually a lot more selfish in nature. Come on. Yep. Yep. Uh, we can even do sick jumps. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> She started with the decaying real quickly, didn't she? Actually... Actually, if I can carry two things, I should probably take this with me. Yep. Did I talk to you already? Yeah, I already did. I like this so much more than just regular jumping. There we go, who needs platforming? This is why I wanted that for the other thing. And this is pointing us right over there. Wow, it's only now, because it feels like I've only been playing for a couple minutes, but... It's only now that I realize just how far we've actually come. You're right up. Look at that. It's like a cloud of bugs. A whole swarm have come to, like, feast on your corpse. What are we gonna find up there? I will once again point out, it's... Uh, <laughs> they're all in my mouth. It's only been a few minutes. No, there doesn't seem to be anything here. So, whoa, 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 whoa! What just happened? I just, like, slid! Just out of no- Yeah, crouching, I guess, on an uneven surface causes you to slide. Okay. Well, what a way to discover that mechanic. I guess we're climbing all the way back up there now. Wise old man of the hotel, what is your wisdom? Oh, you're like a frog. A booby. Up there, I think his wife passed away. It was too much for her. Uh, what was too much for her? What was she sick with? Well, while we're here, we might as well investigate the playground, right? This whole thing is sort of a playground. I mean, it's so satisfying to move around in. It's so... Delightfully weird, but with just enough context that you feel like you're gaining something by exploring. Out of my way, pigeons. I'm the only one who gets to fly around here. Another Beetlejuice sculpture? We may not have completed any objectives, but we're certainly finding a lot of these. There's something over there as well. Nothing here. There's a lot of false doorways, too.
God, that is creepy. So, so unmoving. You look like an animal cracker. In fact, you're even two-dimensional like one, but the inside of your mouth and nose are so high detail. Maybe if I... Fetch. Wait, if I try to insert it directly into your mouth, maybe then... Oh no, it doesn't even interact with your face. Never mind, I just got the achievement Doggo Friendly, Interact with the Dog. Okay, or Play Fetch with the Dog or whatever it was, I don't know. Actually, with the way this is laid out, it almost feels like a playground for soccer balls. Wait, is this like some kind of basement over here? Oh, it does actually go quite deep. Uh, sorry, I'm really neglecting the corpse I'm supposed to be finding. Yep. Oh, it's weird how this place isn't actually all that big. And yet, all these areas are so sequestered off from each other. I don't know, it's like weird how such wildly different feelings can exist in such close proximity simultaneously. A pickaxe. Oh my. Oh my. We can actually do some good old-fashioned rock climbing. In fact, this will most likely be among the more versatile options we have for traversing this place. I mean, it may not be quick, it may not be flashy, but it does work everywhere. Okay, well, it looked like there was someone we could talk to over there. Is there any benefit to climbing in here? I swear, if they've hidden collectibles inside these things, that'll be so annoying. I'll never find them. Wow, it's useful for platforming as well, for sticking the landing. Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior? There's, like, pained screams echoing off the concrete. Janine. One step at a time, I can make it home. Well, I hope so. Can I maybe push you forward? You want to go for a leaf blower ride? Uh, okay. I cannot read that sign whatsoever. Uh... What's through here? Oh, this is just distractions to the game at this point. And I am totally fine with that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at this. When you look straight up through it, you see all these crisscrossing networks of bridges and tunnels. Ah, oh, we're down below those open circular things that we saw from above before. It's so weird how you look out in the beginning of this and see basically everything you'll be interacting with. But it's not until you're down in the middle of it that you realize where you are. You'll always have that moment where you're like, oh, this is that thing from before. You're very rarely actually deliberately ending up somewhere. Now's a good time to utilize that slide mechanic. Whee! And here's another bike. Wait, can we? Okay, no, we can't use we can't use a right hand with you, which I kind of suspected. Well, let's begin our climb, shall we? Deshi Basara. Actually, wait, where are we exactly? Oh, we're right back down to here. Uh, which means we can maybe start with the elevator. And maybe save ourselves some time by doing that. So 
right over here. And don't worry, I am absolutely invested enough in this that I am going to be trying to get all the achievements. There you are. Now, I don't recall you... Oh, wait, 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 there's all kinds of other stuff. Uh, but we can't move while we're moving. Oddly enough, I mean, go figure. Sorry, I sneezed. I'll have muted it, but you definitely saw my camera view jerk. Her body decayed so quickly. No need for this anymore. Take it. I'm really sorry, man. How could you even tell she decayed? Alright, so where could we go from here that would have enabled us? Well, we could always go up through this way. Now that we're here, my objective next is going to be to climb to the top of this thing. I mean, it's like that tall tower in Crackdown. It instantly becomes my primary objective. Yep. Well, that's one way of doing it. This surely is a place of wonders, but uh, we are still quite a distance away. We're not even at the right building. That is so... Mm. Actually, using this, we could maybe escape by going out and over the wall. It does sort of look like there may be something beyond it. Oh, there's so much here to explore. Uh, but this would really be a job for the leaf blower. You know what? If we fall, we fall. Yeah. Well, that's hardly, that's hardly better than ending up on the ground. Here's our building. Only question is, will this actually cut into the tower itself? Like, the horrible thought I'm having is, what if this doesn't actually work on metal? Oh, apparently we have reached the highest peak. And found yet another collectible. Oh no, wait, no, 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 no! But maybe this is even better? Hmm, or maybe not. So it doesn't actually enable us to fly, just sort of glide then. Alright, well we're definitely going to want that pickaxe back in that case, but... We can potentially use this for a... Yep. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. By holding space, we can actually fly. Oh, and that must be the church down there. Oh, come on. Is is the love of my life really going to be impressed by a motorcycle, but not this? Get in, loser. We're escaping Babdi. Uh, I'll take that look as approval. Madeline... I'm so bored. Make my head spin. I can see how you want me to do that. That is so funny. So that's actually a mechanic and not just a quirk of the character models. Okay, but first we're gonna have a look around for any collectibles, which might be in the area. I could actually maybe do it with this. Feels more like a tomb than a church. What is this? Secret item. Ooh, okay, hang on, wait. We're gonna we're gonna leave this here, but we will certainly keep its existence in mind. Meanwhile, though, I actually did spot something that I think it would be interesting to observe. Let's go this way. Okay, so we made it up and over the fence. Let's stop and rest. 
Can we actually get to these things? Doesn't look like there's anything inside, but there may be something inside the farthest one. Okay, safest way to go about that is probably going to be to walk along this edge. Alright, I think we can make it. I think we can make it. Why is this one so different from the others? Well, we made it here. Um, there is that city from a distance. From here, we can actually see the god rays coming through the clouds and shining over it. Doesn't seem so bad when you're so far away. Yep. But I'm beginning to see the problem. Oh, uh, there's actually an invisible wall here, though there are things beyond it. That looks like maybe a ship across untextured waters. And it's not that it's untextured, just really, really weird looking. We can even see through it to some extent. Alright, uh, can we go over here? Can't seem to jump down that weirdly conspicuous hole they built in the middle. But weirdly enough, this is all up here, and yet it flows in this direction? And we can get through by this way. What happens if I fall in the water? Oh, we can't- yeah, the invisible wall is only above these things. So we can actually walk on the surface of the water, that is so weird. So what happens if we- oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, please let me back up, please let me back up, please let me back up, I'm not ready to leave yet. There's a boat out there. Oh wow, it's farther than it seems. Might I just say, it's really cool and appropriate that this thing is the reward for climbing to the highest peak. Simply because, like, it's rewarding you for completing a task by giving you something that allows you to do more of that task, of what you enjoyed doing to get there. Uh, but it seems that we are out of bounds, truly, and there's not actually going to be any collectibles here. Well, still kind of cool that we were able to make it. Oh wait, nope, nope, there is something here, look. A whole bunches of artwork. Oh, looks unmistakably AI generated. Appropriate for a game like this. I mean, uh, I I've always felt that uh, AI art is really cool simply because it's an imitation of something it doesn't understand. Like, if you asked me to draw a tree, I would draw, you know, a trunk, branches, leaves. But AI is something that, like, it doesn't know what any of those things are. It's an approximation of the image itself, rather than any intuitive knowledge of what it's doing. And so sometimes I find it interesting to sort of reverse interpret the image and try to figure out what it thinks it sees. Well, now we've got to make the long journey back. Let's just yeet ourselves down here. We... Uh, that wasn't as much of a slide as I had hoped. And it goes straight down to here. I don't suppose there's any way we're getting through these bars. We've got to fly our way back up. Uh, above a certain altitude, doesn't seem like this thing actually works anymore. And yet, the invisible wall blocks us from both sides. Oh, it blocks us from both sides. Wait. I can't get through this way? I can't get back through. How do I... 
What do I do, game? What do you want from me? Oh, have I broken the game? I think I've broken the game. Wait, go back to Subway Information Center. Literally just says, return home, not available. Uh, we can load a save. What about library? Okay, that's just tab then. All right, return to Subway Information Center. And there we are. Okay, so we can we can teleport ourselves back at any time if we get stuck. That's very convenient. Uh, now, where haven't we been? I'm thinking... I'm thinking that we've got a girl to impress. Wait. Oh, wait, what about right there? Is there maybe something we can use on that seat? There we go. Wait, what is this place? What is this place? Uh, maybe we can use the club to break these things down? Coach Timmis. This is a great food place. Well, thank you for your input. Although, I'm not quite sure where one gets the food from. Oh, there's an elevator. We don't need no elevator. Oh, there's a weird fog rising from below. And a giant boulder ball thing. Wait, where where is this coming from? It's just kind of like lingering in the air, like right there in particular. Oh, they're like stopped escalators. Ah, uh, about almost an hour into recording, we've encountered our first openable door, and there is the train station, or Strainthion. You know, that's cool. I I've just realized now, this is using, like, real dream logic. It's just enough that you understand what it's saying, but not enough that you could explain why. Like, it only barely looks like the words they're meant to represent. Sort of like an intuitive understanding, rather than actually being able to read it. Now your face is also something I can't read. Arland. Trains don't stop. Not even if you step on the tracks. Unless you've got a ticket. Ah, so the way, the way you get a train is to step out in front of it and hope you're holding a ticket. Ow. I don't know why I said, ow. Well, tell you what, we do have a ticket. And we can ask for a train. But there's, there's an achievement for leaving and an achievement for getting hit. It did just save, so... Ugh. And it just brings us right back here. And we get the achievement, flat face. So you know from experience, huh? That's the idea with you? Alright, well, I did have a ticket and they still didn't stop for me, so... Yeah. You gotta be more careful with your words. No! Oh! Uh, turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off! Thanks for the loot. <laughs> oh, that was so weird. Hello? You're weird, too. Oh, and you can walk off down these hallways. <laughs> that was so funny. I was just, like, randomly sliding around, and I just crashed into, like, the worst noise I've ever heard. Let us... Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hello, miss! Yep. Yeah. You got faces on both sides. Well, we got your bleach. 
You're not even people by the standards of Babdi. Oh, and hey, it's another pickaxe. Oh, well, remember that that's there. Probably. Alright. Let's... I don't want to... I don't want to drop these motorcycles, but also what else am I going to use them for? We've got this thing. We should probably actually drop this thing off a ledge so that we can fly back up. I've gotten so used to it, I've forgotten about actual navigation. Alright. Let's do the sickest stunt of our lives. We Dart! I actually have no idea if this is going to bring us closer to the church. We might have gone too low. Hello? What is that noise? Does this thing not have headlights? I can hear, like, sounds all over. It sounds like a TV or radio above. A running engine over there. Howdy, folks! What's going on here? Nina. This is my favorite music when I was a child. Uh, hang on. Ashref. Gambe la pequena da mi casa estamos and I'm not even gonna try. And you we can't even talk to. Wait, there's more from you? Uh, well, not that it matters. Cool. What happens if I turn it off? Absolutely nothing. Well, I'll just leave you to it then. There's those chimes again. Uh, but it doesn't seem like we can actually get out this way. Or at least, yeah, not well. Oh wait, we can crouch on this thing? Uh, but it still, it still doesn't work. Man, there's nothing we can't do on a motorcycle. Uh, which is exactly why we have to get to that date. Hey. You doing some fishing? Uh, making soup, I see. Yeah, I can tell in your eyes that that's a big part of your diet. Cinderella. Sewers oil. You know what? I won't even ask. I can hear that motor noise from here as well. Alright, how are we getting this thing up there? Can you just ride it up the stairs like a cool guy? Oh, maybe what we're hearing was the trains? Hang on, I'm gonna need another club. Smash! It almost sounded like a shotgun being racked. Yep. Yep. Oh wow, this bathroom is like an actual liminal space. And here we find the map. Well, sure, only an hour in, why not? Uh, hmm. We can get up this way. Yep. Okay, so there is always a way to travel vertically. No! Okay, there might not be a way out of this one. Possibly there is. Hmm. Oh, they thought of everything. Alright, well then we might as well go see what's over yonder, right? These canals are actually quite extensive. 
Oh wow, <laughs> and it's like playing the airboat level from Half-Life 2. These changes in textures, I can't tell if there's anything down there or not. Ooh, it opens up into a whole wide area beyond the city itself. Let's find out, how much of a mountain goat is this thing? Not as much as the ATV from Voices of the Void. I feel like it could have done this. Yep. There's a whole way back up. And <laughs> all roads lead back to the right spot. It's kind of funny how this world is designed. It seems so random, but there's so much intention where you'll always spot something to catch your attention and usually end up back where you started. All right, let's make your head spin. There we go! Okay, it was the regular achievement noise, but it actually scared the crap out of me because I thought you were letting out some kind of, like, otherworldly shriek. Well, we did it. Uh, we certainly did it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I love how we were just like glued to the surface unless we press the jump button. That is so funny. Have we spoken to you, sir. Lord Farquaad? Lee Chong. Sweet, sweet sunshine. Leaving Babdi? Maybe travel agents still sell tickets. The information center is at the end of the canal. You're really expecting us to have fallen down here early, aren't you? Hello, what's this? Hi. Get out of my sight. You're not going to make this any easier, are you? We haven't been down in the rail tunnels before. I wish, I wish I remembered where any of my tools were. But just how far down does all this go? Oh, it's so dark and I have no flashlight. Ah, here's one. Right. Back here. We've actually been on the other side of this fence before. Yeah, there's the sewer oil lady. But it seems like we could have... No, we couldn't have accessed this from the beginning. Ah, oh, there's like all these crate barricades. It's like this used to be some kind of like shop or something that's all closed down. This is so creepy. All of this was just, like, sealed away. Oh, we found a couple of secrets. These things in the grassy areas almost look more like a kennel than anything. Just these little divots inside the wall. Maybe that's where the dog came from. But yeah, I, I threw that thing off the building thinking I'd pick it up like near on the ground and I just simply cannot find that flying machine anymore. Tell you what, there is a weird concrete structure right there. What would happen if we were to jump onto it and see if there's anything inside? There is something there. There is. So if we get a little bit higher up. Yep. Thank you. And there we are. Hmm, actually it seems like there's a ramp above the church. Yep. God, that's nauseating. Ooh, there's actually a peak out the back. Oh, no, 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 there is actually, there are secrets here. All right, so this was worth doing. Motorcycle right here. Maybe we can cover some ground this way. I, I've got to get that secret detector. I've got to get that secret detector to point me in the right direction. We're at the point where I'm not sure where else to look.
Hello, what is this place? This is the most real looking place we've encountered yet. Wait, do I, did I lose my club? Did I drop it somewhere? Am I not allowed to have it here? What happened to it? And it's right back out onto more concrete. <laughs> Random pieces of wood scattered around the terrain. And more random smoke or steam or whatever that's meant to be. And as usual, I do not like the weirdly vocal sound of those doors opening. Anything in here? A dark room. We haven't met this Halfred. Other than that, I think we've met most of them. Oh, it's a list of everyone on the map. There's something over there. There's something over here to a gun. What does one do with a gun? Yeah, that music is what played in my head when I saw your face. I remember when you were just a child. We had such a great time with your mother. Uh, but it's just a secret object, not a tool. Okay, that's a bit of a relief. Almost like the game was trying to tempt me to kill him. Who let the Silent Hill lighting in here? Oh, it's not lighting, it's actual windows. Why with that music? That, that was genuinely creepy after all this, after just kind of getting relaxed and exploring. Well, it's a good thing we decided to come down this way randomly. All right, well, that worked out. But I think we're going to make our way back to the church and get that secret detector. Hmm. And not seen this before. These drains come out in the weirdest of places. Smaller version of you in a cage. Should we be getting you? Almost seems like somebody probably put you there for a reason. I'm having to check every little crevice of the map right now. But I'm at least glad that I'm finding a lot of these things before we resort to the secret finder. So there's something over in that direction, is there? Uh, so, it's kind of interesting. This doesn't function like a radar or anything like that, or a constant arrow. It's just every time we click, it'll point us in the direction of something. Which makes it a bit of a hot or colder minigame, where it sort of depends on choosing when we decide to activate it. For example, we go beyond these buildings, it still points that way. As we move this way, we can see it's got to be within here somewhere. I just wish I still had some of my other tools. Oh, wait. I hadn't noticed this place. Hi. Arthur. I'm lying flat. I can see that. 
Man, have I still not talked to everyone? Hello? I've just been spending a long time trying to figure out how to get on top of this building without tools, but, uh... Howdy. Are you lying flat, too? Oh, that's like a flooded graveyard. Agrafina. She's nothing to say, but she's making noise at least. Well, we got that achievement. Alright, there's one. Only three left, I believe, in this whole game. Uh, what is that? I think that's broken wood. Down we go, because we gotta recover our artifact finder. I should have known there'd be something inside this tower. Weird thing is, this thing wants me to look somewhere in the middle of it rather than at the top. Yeah, let's go get another pickaxe. Hmm, it just sort of arbitrarily will not let me climb past this point. Yep, well, we're here now, but I think what we really needed was actually back the other way. Wait, maybe if we, if we utilize this, yep, Ugh, no, but there was an opening. There was, why am I clinging to the side? Why am I clinging to the side like that? That was weird. But fruitful. There we go. Only two more. Uh, but what happens if we climb up this way? Ooh. Dark. Very, very dark. But nothing here. Okay, this next one is saying it's up there in those apartments. Uh, one of two more left to find. Uh, so just for safety, I'll leave this in the concrete in front of the old lady. That's our landmark. Could have sworn that I had dropped the, uh, the flying machine down here somewhere. But let's see if this thing is actually up to the task. Only barely. This is new. Uh, well, at least there's some entertainment up in this place. Well, I say entertainment. Uh, have you any secrets to give me? There's gotta be something. Ah, uh, yes. The command center. Uh, this is where the Illuminati secretly watches over us all. Uh, well, at least they're educated. Make room, make room. Oh, wow, no, these are actually real. Ah, uh, they've even got roadside picnic. One of the only things that's not AI-generated. Only one left. AI-generated, but still certainly close enough to Windows to trigger a copyright issue. Eh, then again, probably not. What they don't know won't hurt them, and uh, they've got to find it first. Okay, I might have happened upon it by accident. Somebody's stacking couches, which explains where all the furnishing in this town went. Uh. 
but I don't see any actual collectibles here, and according to this, it's far away. This is just an odd idiosyncrasy in a sea of them, honestly. Okay, so the last object is basically parallel to the train station, but it's not actually in the train station itself. It's down in the bottom of this crevice, is it? Oh. Oh, I don't know how I haven't seen you yet. Oh, well, I guess I know what we're eating. If something like this is just like waste that gets caught in the drain. Well, here we go. And we have gotten every secret object. All right, hang on. I'm trying to figure out what doing a 360 on the bike is. I may not bring it back this time. I like this, and... What counts as a 360 spin? All I can think is that it maybe has to be done while falling? Okay, I guess that was it. All right, there we go. Well, the four minutes, uh, the four minutes achievement has long since passed us. Maybe I'll do that off camera at some point. But for now, I'm ready to get out of here. I've been recording for just now two hours. And yet it feels like I've been here a lifetime. Yeah, that's dream logic in a nutshell, isn't it? Let's take our ticket. And wait for somebody to stop. And away we go. <laughs> wow, the inside is textured the same way, just like, uh, just like a toy train. You left Babdi. Well, great job. This game was awesome. It, it really does feel like a game made for people who love exploring, and that's the only way to put it. It's just an environment that invites you to tear it apart and dissect it. All these characters to meet, secrets to find, weird sights to discover, and all the while, just this dreamlike tone where you feel like you're guided by your own curiosity. It's just made for that. Not only that, but giving us a series of tools which help us in exactly the ways we want. That makes it so enjoyable to traverse the environment and discover different areas. It's a game that just encourages you in every aspect. And I think that's the real right attitude to have for an exploration playground. It's a simple game, but a really cool one that just picks one thing it wants to do and does it extremely well. And for a free experience, I certainly got more than my money's worth. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, I'm not trying that again.